guys. Uh, so now you got your shell casing stuck in your resizing die. I'm going to show you a couple of methods on how to get this out. Option one, you can send your die back to the manufacturer and they should be able to uh, get the shell casing unstuck. RCBS has a lifetime warranty. Um, and last time, or the first time I got mine stuck, I sent it back to RCBS and they removed the shell casing for me uh, for no charge. Option number two, you can take it to your local gunsmith and um, they should have the tools that are appropriate to remove the stuck shell casing. Option three. Option three, uh, you can try this method, although I haven't found that it works that well. You can use some sort of lubrication. You can spray it into the shell casing. Um, hopefully that, that loosens it up. You can take a pair of pliers or vice grip and try and um, break it free from the die. I haven't found much luck in doing that, but uh, you can definitely try if that's what you'd like to do. I've heard some people um, also say putting it into the freezer, uh, letting it freeze overnight, somehow it shrinks the shell casing and you're able to, to bust it out of there as well. Uh, the option that I'm going to show you that works well for me is I, I use what's called a stuck case remover from RCBS. At the time, a few years ago, it was $22, uh, but that's what I'm gonna be using to show you how to remove this stuck shell casing today. In the RCBS stuck case remover kit, you'll have a drill bit, tap, cup, screw, and Allen wrench. First step, instead of using a vise, which you can do, uh, I choose just to put it right back into my press upside down using that as my vise. First step is to drill out the primer pocket. Second step is to use the RCBS tap and I just use an adjustable end wrench to slowly turn this into the case and if you meet too much resistance you may have to back it out just a turn or two once you punch through you just back this out Third step is applying the cup, taking your screw, screw it into the shell casing using your Allen wrench. And just keep turning until the case comes out. And there you have it. Before I end the video today, I wanted to show you guys how to make sure that you never have another stuck case again. Not real hard, pretty simple, but with the bottleneck cases, the trick is, is that you only lube the lower third of the case. When I insert the case into the die, you can see approximately where it stops. This lower third of the shell casing is the reason why you have a stuck shell case. So if you lube this portion of the case, you'll never have another stuck sh shell again. What I like to do is I like to use my pad. You can use a case lube, apply a little, spread it evenly, or you can use uh, your quick slick spray lube as well. I put the top here so I know exactly how much to lube. Run it through there. And now I'll run it through my resizing press. Now just to put it into the resizing press. There you go. You'll never have another stuck case again. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video.
Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.